Guys, stop. You gotta watch this video before you do any surgery for plantar fasciitis. The plantar fascia is a band of tissue that attaches right here. It goes from the heel, goes all the way up the foot. When you step down, this band stretches out. We basically cut about a third of that band and what it does is it allows it to stretch out so you don't have that tension pulling there and eventually that stops that pain. No more big scars. We can do this minimally invasive. You don't have to go to the surgery center. You don't have to go to the hospital. We can do it right here in the office. It takes about 15 minutes to do. Less pain, less scarring, less swelling. Watch this video. Our gentleman here, he has plantar fasciitis that he's tried everything for. He's done injections, he's done stretching. He told me his flexibility for his feet are better than it's ever been since he's been a child, but he's still having pain. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a plantar fasciotomy. Basically what his plantar fascia is right here, it attaches to this part of the foot and it goes all the way up. So when he steps down, his arch flattens out. And what it does is it puts a big pull on this plantar fascia right here, and that causes inflammation, that causes pain. So what we do is we do a little stab incision, and we'll cut it, and we'll cut about a third of it. And what that does is it loosens it up, gives it some slack, that way later in the future when he steps down, that's not gonna put that pull, and that's not gonna cause that inflammation and pain there. So we're gonna get started. We got our patient nice and numbed up. If you see, when I pull his foot back, you can really see the tension of the plantar fascia right here. And so it attaches all the way back here. So we're gonna release it right around this area right here. <clears throat> all right, so you let me know up there, okay? Does this hurt at all? Anything sharp? No. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little stab right here. Any pain? No. Okay. And so if we're real quiet, and if you get real close, sometimes you can hear it cutting. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but it literally feels like, or sounds like celery being cut. So I'm kind of going around just releasing everything. And I can immediately feel up here, the tension on that is released. I'm gonna do a little bit more and then we'll be done. How are you feeling up there? I'm good. You wanna talk about your glamping a little bit? <laughs> yeah, hey YouTube, you guys check us out. Glamping at Deer Camp. <laughs> he has a glamping at Deer Camp that he says is pretty cool, so I'm gonna look this up after. Yeah, so that's a lot better. I'm gonna release a little bit more over here and then we'll be done with this one. So that one's done. We're gonna move over to the other foot. So same thing, I can kind of feel the plantar fascia. So as I'm going up here, I can feel that tension on it. And we're gonna enter right here. So same thing, anything sharp at all right here? No. Good. I hope you guys can hear this because it kind of has like a crunching sound. So if, if I were to take this blade and go through a, a celery, you'd kind of hear the same thing. The reason it sounds like that is there's all these fibers that make up the plantar fascia. Okay. Good. And now we just stitch them up. I put one little stitch in it. That uh, stitch stays in for two weeks. And then in two weeks, um, they're gonna be taken out. And then after that, he's gonna be doing a ton of stretching because we don't want that, that plantar fascia to reattach to itself and basically cause the same issue. So here's a little stitch in his heel. So I would say probably in the last couple years, I've done probably about 50 of these. And I would say 
probably I'm pretty darn close to 100% success rate with them. It's just what to expect is, you know, you, you'll feel it for a while, even though it's a tiny little incision, you do feel it for several months after. And then after that, once everything's all healed on the inside, then you'll feel a lot better. But it does take a few months to really feel good. But in the end, it'll be, it'll be worth it. So for the next couple weeks, he's just kind of relaxing. He's allowed to walk on it. Just, you know, you want to take it easy because it does hurt a little bit. Basically, the key thing is we release the tension. We kind of leave it alone for a while, let him rest and everything. And then afterwards, lots of stretching. He's going to do some massages because those, those ends that we cut, they're going to want to scar up. And so we're going to have him stretch and massage and ice and all that stuff in about two weeks. During the first two weeks, he's just relaxing. And that's it. If you liked our video, please hit a like button and then subscribe to our channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.